<laughs> hey, 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 my gorgeous Facebook family. How is everybody going? How are you all going? You're here with Kylie Pax. You know the drill. Australia's emotional eating coach. I'm here to empower you to take control of your relationship with food, create a body and a life that is sexier than a hot fudge Sunday because you know you get to do that thing on your terms. Now, if you are joining me here live, throw me that emoji in the comments box. Let me know that you're here and all my replay watchers sending you so much chocolate coated love as I do every single day. I feel like I'm trying to be very, very quiet here at the moment because normally I'm extremely loud and flamboyant on my, um, on my live streams, but there are people around. So it'll be a little respect just like maybe this much this much <laughs> can I take let me just take my glasses off oh no I can see you Pima's in the house how are you going babe I am actually um, now I'm in a very fabulous part of my town you can see there's some gorgeous houses around me can you see there in the background um, we're in such a gorgeous part of town thank you so much Anne's in the house thank you so much for joining me and I'm about to interview so I'm just heading on down to interview another fabulous little um, friend of mine called Bra. so let's just um, oh no now it's very sunny and it's like a little disconcerting let me just pop these back on I'm going to interview him so we might just do like a part one and two of this because I just had um, this situation I had to share it with you really really quickly thank you so much Maria's here you know what let me just cross over the road let me just so I must be very um, I just got to be a little vigilant here as I cross the road. I better pay attention to what I'm doing. Now, I really, really, really want to share this with you very, very quickly, right? I wrote a post about two seconds ago. I'm tripping over things. I wrote a post about two seconds ago. Paul's at Mr. Barry. How are you going, baby? Thank you so much. Kate's here. Everybody's jumping on live. Now, I'm as I said to you, I've only got a few minutes because I'm actually heading off to um, interview. So I'm fooling around here with my glasses. I'm heading off to interview somebody. So I'm just checking. I can't see them there. But um, we're going to have a quick chat. So we might do a part one and two of this little quick um, live stream series because this is what I just posted like two minutes ago, right, on my personal page. That's what I just posted. Something along the lines of what would be possible, right? Imagine if you stop trying to mold yourself into the shape of your icons, right? Like, you know, whoever, we've all got them. I will list them mine off the top of my head. Uh, Beyonce, right, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, um, you know, and then we've got my, like, my more old school ones, like Madonna and that kind of thing, right? Love them. Miss Minogue, the whole thing, right? Fabulous. It's all very fabulous. What would happen if you stopped trying to to become like those people and decide to just be your own icon. Imagine the possibilities. If you stop trying to force your body to look like somebody else, eat the things that you think that person eats so you can all come along, look like them and be like them and do your hair like them and dress like them. What if you just decided to be your own icon and rock yourself out? Be your own brand of fabulous instead of trying to steal and snatch away at someone else's. What would be possible for you then? Now, as I posted this today, let me just, because I'm always very honest with you. Oh, let me be real. I don't feel very iconic today myself. I do not. No, I'm extremely tired. So can we all just take a like hallelujah moment for um, makeup and bronzer and, you know, like lashes, the whole thing, right? Because otherwise I'm like, if you saw me now without my makeup, people, let me tell you something. i will be like, you would all uh, be horrified. There'll be nobody on this live stream. You'd be running away. You'd be like, I don't even know where that Kylie girl has gone. I don't know who this hideous creature is. Put some makeup on, girl. No, I kid. I kid you. I kid you. Only a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit. But this is what I wanted to share with you. You can be your own brand of icon. It doesn't matter how you look or how you feel, but you have to decide. Mm, you have to decide. And I share this with you because as I put this post on my page, not feeling particularly iconic, but it was something that resonated and sort of came up in my heart. And one of my gorgeous, gorgeous friends, Stefan, posted, you're, you're an icon. And I thought, honey, the last thing I feel like today is anybody's icon, right? I do not feel very iconic today myself. I do not. I'm tired. I've been working so much lately because I have incredible things coming for you, which I cannot wait to share. They are so squeal worthy. You should just start peeing your pants now because they're that good, right? So you might as well just start now because you're going to be squealing anyway. So you might as well just start the squeal first now. That is how good these things that I have coming for you are. It's so amazing. However, amazing doesn't just roll out like that. Amazing takes a lot of effort, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of stress. 
stress. We think just because we have a dream in our hearts and a vision that it's just going to um, drop out of the heavens, land on your head in a neatly packaged bow and it's all going to unfold with no effort on your part. I do not think so. No, no, no. When you finally find your passion or your dream, whatever it is that you're deeply passionate about, and we could talk about this forever, but checking the time, I do have to go and meet with this person. When you find these things, they, they are often disguised as hard work. And so we run away from them because we think, oh, it's too hard. No, if that was the thing that I really wanted to do, surely that would just flow, flow real easy and come at me real good, right? No, no, usually not, usually not. Maybe sometimes, possibly, but more often than not, no. It comes looking like a whole bunch of hard work. And it's at that point, many of us would just run away, just go, well, this can't be right. It's too hard, it's too difficult. No, 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 it should be easy. Really, really. Uh, in what book does it say to you that everything in your life is supposed to be real easy? If it's good, it should be easy. No, usually the things that are really good come with a lot of effort and a lot of hard work. That's why they're good, far out. <laughs> like, can we just get a grip? But, you know, not only and also, the thing I really did want to share with you very quickly is, when you be your own brand of icon, it doesn't mean that you need to be feeling the vibe every day, but it does mean you need to decide to feel the vibe. You usually are not going to wake up feeling the vibe. I don't know anybody that wakes up feeling the vibe. I might have maybe, let me think about it realistically, I might have possibly... <laughs> 10 days a year that I wake up really feeling the vibe. You know, you wake up and you just go, boom, oh, oh, I'm rocking it today, right? I am feeling that vibe. Maybe 10 days out of 300. The other 355, I'm just like, is that the alarm already? Like, do I really have to get up? And instantly, all the horror thoughts of all the things that I've got to do today and the things that did not get done yesterday and the things that are now really super urgent and it's quite desperate and I'm all freaked out before my feet even hit the floor. That's the rest of the days. So it's at that point, you have to decide, are you going to stress and freak out and start your day on that note or are you going to be your own icon? Are you going to put on your own brand of fabulous and decide that you are going to wear it and own it regardless of how you feel? Step into that outfit. Don't wait for that outfit to step into you. You got to step into that outfit. Now I've got people around staring at me, but I don't care because I'm my own icon, right? <laughs> right. So this is what I wanted to share with you very, very quickly. Now I am going to be live streaming again in only moments with um, a fabulous friend of mine, Bram, who's holding an incredible conference here in Adelaide. Um, and it's coming very soon. I think it's like this month, but we'll get him to confirm. Confirm. So I'm going to be sharing all of that with you very, very quickly. Thank you so much, Jody. Oh, Happy Stone Art, you're in the house again. Thank you so much. Pema says, hey, smart lady, you're so great, lovely. Thank you very much. I really appreciate everybody who's here right now because I had no idea how many of you were going to be on live. It's just the middle of the day here in South Australia. It's the middle of the day. So I'm going to skip on over to this fabulous cafe, order myself a green tea oh or do they have something to wake me up i don't i don't drink caffeine so but green tea has caffeine doesn't it can anybody confirm that for me that's always been a bit of a like rumor in health circles i think they tell you that it's this super healthy thing that's got no caffeine and i'm like i don't know i got my suspicions about that stuff i'm just not entirely sure so if anyone can confirm that for me please let me know but in the meantime i'm going to skip on out of here and what i really want to you know i really want you to get from this is that if there is something that you feel deeply passionate about just go for it. Don't run away for it from it because it looks a little difficult, a little hard. Secondly, so it's one. Two, right? Don't think that just because you don't wake up in the morning feeling the vibe that you can't feel it. You can decide to feel it at any given moment. It's always a choice. And three, third thing that I've got, I want to share something else with you. Oh, how could I forget to tell you? So remiss, naughty Kylie. Um, the 90 minute breakthrough. I've got a courier van leaving there. The 90 minute breakthrough, the doors are gonna close on that this week. Now I'm undecided yet which day that will be. However, if you go now to kyliepacks.com forward slash breakthrough, you will find out all about it. Essentially, it is you and me, a one-on-one -on -one private session, which I don't hand these things out like candies, right? This is very limited and very restricted. There are only 10 places available. Um, so this is a one-on-one -on -one session that I have broken down the absolute gold that I use to break through the self-conscious barriers with my private, one-on-one -on -one clients, I have squished them down into a 90-minute session. You, me, 
90 minutes to absolutely transform your life. Now this is perfect for you if your relationship with food is pretty cruisy, but you have a particular sticking point every so often that trips you up and you'd be like, oh, why does this keep happening to me? It just frustrates the heck out of me. You know, everything seems to be cruising along for days, weeks, months at a time, but this every so often when I get stressed, when I get freaked out, when the mother-in-law visits, when I get that phone call, when the bills come in, like da da da, I, I fall back into my old patterns. That is what this is for. So check it out, because I do have to see, no, I really do have to go now. KyliePacks.com forward slash breakthrough. You will find all the details. As I said, there was only 10 places available. Doors are closing this week. As to whether I'm offering this again, at this point, I'm like, the answer is no. Because some people have said, are you going to be doing this later? I'm like, no, no, I'm really not. And I will tell you the reason why. Because I find, the best, because there's a lot of finger pointing going on here today. I find that the people that get the very best, um, very best results are the ones that step up and act now. They don't wait till it's all convenient and fluffy and coated in marshmallow. You just step up and do it now. Regardless of how, you're, how afraid you are, regardless of what the timing is like, regardless of the other 5 billion excuses we can all pull out of the cyber clouds you prepare to step up and act now that is when you get rewarded with phenomenal breakthrough results i am sending you all so much love thank you so much karen's here as well thank you so much to everybody who's joining me live i'm going to skip on over to this cafe i will be joining you again very don't cry i'll be i'm going to be back like five ten minutes i'll be right back with my fabulous friend friend Brahm and we're going to be talking to you a little bit about how really now this is going to be perfect for my entrepreneur friends how to combine in a winning fashion uh, your health life, your eating life, your business life without going crazy and eating a whole packet of cookies every single day. I'm wishing you all so much love. Please do remember the only person who has the power to change your life is you. When you step up and decide to be your own brand of icon every day, regardless of how you feel. You know the drill. That is when you've got what it takes. Sending you so much love, sexy people. I'm going to see you in just a minute. Until then, bye for now.